So what's going on with Black Bolt in the MCU? First, he got a poorly written series, then a brutal death. And now, what's next? A nun costume? <laughs> Probably not. We've got all the details on Black Bolt's new storyline and how he might finally make his proper MCU debut. Let's dive in and hope they get it right this time. The MCU is known for its exciting character cameos, but one particularly brutal appearance from the Inhuman show makes a lot more sense after a recent reveal about Marvel's TV shows. In the early days of the MCU, character cameos were a novelty, but now they're expected. Most Marvel movies or TV shows feature at least a brief appearance from a familiar face in the shared universe. While these cameos are usually fun nods to beloved characters, a new behind-the-scenes reveal from Marvel Studios suggests there might be a bit of malice behind at least one crossover. In Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Strange encounters a group of heroes called the Illuminati. This group, seemingly their reality's equivalent of the Avengers, includes previously established characters like Professor X from Fox's X-Men movies, Captain Carter from What If, and Anson Mount reprising his role as Black Bolt from Inhumans. Unfortunately, they all meet a quick and grisly end, and there seems to be a surprising reason for it. Marvel Studios' disdain for the failed Inhumans TV series is evident, as they've actually blocked references to it in MCU movies. The show, which aired in 2017, was widely panned for its poor writing and strange character decisions. Since its eight-episode run, there has been little to no mention of the powerful group of superhumans. This distancing from Inhumans became even more intentional after the MCU's TV shows moved to Disney Plus and became closely linked with the film division. In the book, MCU The Reign of Marvel Studios, it's revealed that Marvel Studios executives laid out guidelines for MCU movies to steer clear of any association with Inhumans. For example, when Eternals was in development, the creators were instructed to avoid setting any part of the movie in Hawaii, as the studio didn't want any risk of reminding audiences of the failed TV show. Since a significant portion of Inhumans was set in Hawaii, revisiting the state was considered too close for comfort. Given Marvel Studios' efforts to distance themselves from Inhumans, the inclusion of Anson Mount's Black Bolt in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness seems contradictory. However, Black Bolt's fate in the movie, particularly at the hands of the Scarlet Witch, adds an ironic twist. While every member of the Illuminati meets a grisly demise, Black Bolt's death is particularly graphic. If Marvel Studios truly dislikes Inhumans as much as the recent report indicates, this brutal end for their king could be seen as a deliberate move to bury their MCU legacy once and for all. With that being said, it's always a possibility in the ever-expanding world of the MCU, but the chances of the Inhumans returning for a major project with Marvel Studios seems slim at the moment. The failure of the Inhumans TV series to attract an audience and its lingering negative reputation are significant factors. However, another key reason could be the emergence of the X-Men in the MCU. With the X-Men poised to make their debut in MCU Phase 7, there may be concerns about overlapping themes and concepts between them and the Inhumans. Both groups represent misunderstood and mistreated individuals with unique powers, often triggered during puberty. If the MCU explores the modern portrayal of the X-Men, including their establishment on Krakoa, it could potentially cover similar ground to the Inhuman Society of Atalan. While the Inhumans may have served as a placeholder for Marvel Studios during Fox's ownership of the X-Men rights, the acquisition of Fox by Disney means that Marvel now has access to all its characters. Despite this, the Inhumans may remain a footnote in MCU history, remembered as a missed opportunity for characters with untapped potential. Now, let's dive into a juicy Marvel Comics storyline that might just make its way to the big screen. In a sneak peek of Darkhold, Black Bolt No. 1 by Mark Russell, David Cutler, Roberto Poggi, Matt Mila, and VC's Clayton Cowles, we find Black Bolt waking up on Teros, trying to piece together what's happened to him. He recalls his time in Atalan, where he learned of Maximus's plot to overthrow him and the Inhuman royal family. Fast forward to the present, and Black Bolt is questioning if his brother has indeed seized his throne when he's suddenly attacked by a desert kraken. Talk about a rough awakening. These visions in Darkhold kind of mirror what went down in the Inhumans TV series, 
but with a much more intriguing twist. In the show, Black Bolt ends up in Hawaii after Maximus's coup, which, let's be honest, didn't quite hit the mark. Now, in the comic, he's on T, facing off against the very inhumans he once imprisoned. The stakes are sky high, adding some serious drama that the show missed out on. With that being said, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we've seen the different versions of Black Bolt, played by Anson Mount. He appeared in the Marvel TV series Inhumans in 2017 and also showed up in the film Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness in 2022. Now, there's talk about how he could make a comeback in the MCU. Anson Mount himself teased this possibility in an interview with Radio Times. He mentioned having some casual chats with Marvel bigwigs about the idea of returning for another project in the future. While nothing's set in stone yet, Mount expressed his eagerness to step back into Black Bolt shoes, saying he loves the character. This isn't the first time he's hinted at wanting to return, especially after his character's variant met his end in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. As for concrete plans, there's nothing solid right now for the Inhumans to join the main MCU storyline, especially with so many other projects in the works. Mount's comments suggest that any potential return might not happen until Phase 7, which is still a few years away. Marvel Studios could revisit the Inhumans eventually, considering they were initially supposed to be part of Phase 3 before things changed. So, if Black Bolt does come back, it might not be in the near future. Whether it's in Phase 7 or in a multiversal adventure like Avengers Secret Wars or Deadpool 3, it seems like Mount would be up for the challenge of playing Black Bolt again. That said, Anson Mount's Black Bolt could make a return in the upcoming MCU X-Men live-action movie. In the comics, mutants and inhumans aren't exactly on good terms, often finding themselves at odds. If the MCU decides to explore this dynamic in the new X-Men movie, it could be a perfect opportunity for Black Bolt's return. This conflict between mutants and inhumans would add an intriguing layer to the storyline, providing a rich narrative ground for both sides to clash and potentially team up. Bringing Black Bolt into the mix would not only deepen the MCU's portrayal of Inhumans, but also create a more interconnected universe. Fans would get to see the powerful leader of the Inhumans navigate the complex relationships and conflicts with the mutant community. Given Anson Mount's enthusiasm for reprising his role and the MCU's penchant for surprising crossovers, the possibility of Black Bolt returning to the X-Men movie is an exciting prospect for the franchise's future. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Do you think Anson Mount's Black Bolt will make a comeback in the upcoming MCU X-Men movie? Let us know your thoughts.